For 73-year-old Edna Armstrong, it's been one emotional and embarrassing journey. Transported in the back seat of a car from Sydney to Griffith after open heart surgery. Sitting upright, wearing nothing more than an inpatient gown. Sitting up at that distance uh, is very uncomfortable, a lot, lot of pain. Especially when you've had the operation on your heart. Yeah. Why Mrs Armstrong was transported that way is the major concern. She claimed staff told her she was to be transported via air ambulance, something St Vincent's has denied. They said I was going by air ambulance, so I just presumed I was, and so did Gordon and Jay. But that wasn't the case? No, it wasn't. Gordon, yourself, at any stage, were you informed that Edna was to be transported by a vehicle? Not at all. Mrs Armstrong says staff checked her out of the Darlinghurst-based hospital at 3pm. She was placed into a Holden vehicle just days after the major operation. The trip to the airport is 12 kilometres, but when passing the destination, Mrs Armstrong says she stopped the driver, asking him where he was taking her. It's then when he informed her, hospital staff had organised she be transported via vehicle to Griffith Base Hospital, located six hours away. Mrs Armstrong had no way to contact family, waiting frantically at the airport. Did the driver at any stage at that point try and contact your family to advise them? Well, a, dr a driver that in the car, no. Mr Armstrong claims he contacted staff here at Griffith Base Hospital in an attempt to locate his wife, who supposedly had a bed here at the facility. However, staff weren't even aware she was due to arrive. Half past nine, ten o'clock before we even knew, could find out where she was. She, we didn't know and we were getting... A bit, Quite a stressful time. Yeah. St Vincent's has since conducted a full-scale investigation. A statement received from the healthcare provider claims the travel arrangements were carefully discussed with Mrs Armstrong, but nevertheless is sorry for the confusion. Either way, Edna's family is hoping her story helps prevent miscommunication between hospitals and patients in the future. Dean Foscarini, Win News.